sure, you can always find small oil fields easily, but whether you whether they return enough energy to justify drilling for them, it's another question. In order to get energy and to get useful energy, often you have to put energy in. So I came up with this idea of energy return on investment. So energy return on investment is a ratio and you basically look at the energy that goes into the process, natural gas burned on site, electricity used, diesel fuel, whatever and then compare that to the energy that comes out in the form of crude oil or natural gas. And to put the energy in, uh, you expect that you're going to get more energy out. Uh, so when we first started uh, drilling for, for oil, it was, it was a great energy source because we put very, much, very little in and we got a lot out. But over time, that's declined. As a consequence of the intensity of drilling, uh, over time the energy return on investment for looking for oil declines and when you drill hard when you do a lot of exploration and development activity because you don't find empirically you don't find more oil and gas then your return on investment declines. In 1930 we would invest one barrel of oil in looking for oil and get back a hundred barrels. When we did our earlier result uh, analyses for the 1970s we were getting 30 to 1 and now it's somewhere around 10 or 15 to 1 now that's some rough indication that we're approaching the energy return on investment of one for one. You get back one barrel of oil for one barrel of oil uh, spent looking for it. Well, that doesn't make sense. You're not getting anything out of it. You're just basically cycling energy. You put energy in, you get it out, you put it back in, you get it out, you put it in, you get it back out. There's no, there's no spin-off to the rest of society. The reason we want energy is for the, what we can do with it. Look at Houston out here. Look at this enormous net energy that built the city and runs the electric stations out there and all the cars and all of that. Well, that's because we have surplus energy. We don't actually want energy for getting energy. We want energy because we want to heat our homes and we want to drive our cars and we want to uh, be able to, uh, to power our appliances. Any animal, uh, let's just take a, a cheetah or a trout in the stream, has to gain more energy from its foraging procedures than it costs or it goes extinct. So do we in society if we cannot get more energy back relative to the energy we invest in looking for it, well, then we would go extinct.